Hello there. How's it going? Bowman guitarist here. And uh, today, doing a quick video on swinging 16ths. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. <laughs> One of my students uh, sent me, his, he's done this cover of uh, Lenny by Steve Ray Vaughan and he's playing it and I'm going, yeah, and I listen to the original and I'm going, something not quite right here, he's not quite getting a swing in 16ths. And I guess that's the thing for some people, swing in 16ths, what is a swing in swung 16th? <clears throat> well, we, do you know what a swing in eight, a swung 8th is? When you go, that's a straight and then... Slight delay on the upstroke, based on a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So when we uh, count a triplet, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, we're strumming on the one and the three. Down, up, you know, you can do it down as well. Down, down, down. You know, that sort of bluesy feel. That's called a shuffle. The swinging 16th is basically just like doubled up. It's, it's you know, you're doing twice as many in a beat. Uh, so instead of just doing like one, bap bap bap, you go bap 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 bap. So we're doubling up to sixteenths instead of eighths, and we're putting two of those one e and a two e and a. So a straight sixteen would be one e and a two e and a three e. Swung one e and a two e and a. playing something like Lenny and it's a whole piece you've got to you've got to add that feel to all the notes whenever they occur and they crop up then you're gonna add that feel whatever it is the other important thing is to have the meter what's the meter that's the thing that you're playing to that's where you you can see me moving I'm going to that two three four my body is act into the meter because I'm metronome trained. That's what you've got to do. You've got to train to a metronome if you want to be a good musician. Um, one of the greatest exercises you can start off with if you haven't already worked with a metronome is to clap to the metronome. That's the meter. Move your body as well. Get used to doing that. When you're listening to music, tap your foot, move your body to the meter and then body to the meter and I'm doing whatever I want to play and express myself or if I'm learning a song that I'm going to be playing along with that to the meter whether it's straight whether it's 16th swinging 16th ah blah de blah so <laughs> I hope that is kind of like uh, explain it a little bit for you any questions popping down below see you soon